Welcome back to Swing Clinic. Holly Saunders, Jimmy Hanlon. Jimmy, you've now fixed my swing from the top almost down to the bottom. <laughs> I got my 56 degree wedge. What is planned? We're going to hit some floppers right now. Nice thing I like about this complex is there's lots of targets out here. Yeah. As you can see. Well, we've got a big one for you right here because, you know, when you get on some of these Pete Dye golf courses, you get around these greens with some tough pins mm -hmm. and you got to have a shot. And we had it yesterday when we shot 18 holes where you have to be able to stop the ball quickly on a green. Correct. Right? And it's tough to do. I know you had to do it a lot in college because when you play in these NCAA events, you know, they put these pins in brutal places. Mm -hmm. If you miss the green on the wrong side, you got trouble. Thousand right? percent, yep. So I think, again, I'm going to go back to what we were talking about, Holly, when we were talking about playing into the wind. I think people think that you have to get really steep to be able to flop the golf ball up and get spin. It's the exact opposite. We want to shallow your golf swing out. We don't want a big divot when we're hitting this flop shot, whether it be out of the rough mm -hmm. or the fairway. We want to use the bounce and we want to be able to create some spin and shoot it up in the air. So I think some setup things for you right here, I'm going to help you again to make that happen. So go ahead and set up to it. Okay. So show me how you typically set up. You're going to flop it. Let's say we're going to just over. I would open up. Yeah, there you go. Like this, we're, like we're, a sand shot almost. We're going over top of, let's say, a bunker and land it in and onto okay. that big green right there. So yeah, you, you hit it right face. on the head. It's very similar to the sand shot. So she's opened her stance up like this. She's opened the face up a little bit where the where the club's laying backwards, yeah. which is really good. I think that that's important from that standpoint too. So another thing that I want her to do when she makes this swing is go ahead and set a little bit forward. We want to set that way a little forward, but I don't want the ball to move back. I want it worst case scenario front of center. Some good players that do it, I, I actually see them move the move the ball up to their front foot even almost where they do mm. a driver. So let's get that ball position okay. forward. Now I think one of the most important things is I want her to take a nice long swing where she stays wide, especially in her way down. I don't want this coming down hard this direction. Yeah. I want it to stay where it's a nice state, has width all the way through. And it's almost like if that golf ball had legs on it right now, she's trying to chop the legs out from underneath that golf ball. So it's just a nice long width and chop the legs out. Let's have you hit one just having that feeling right there. Chop those legs out. Good. I could swing even harder. Yeah, yeah, you could swing harder. Now try it again. Let me Let's see do it again. again. And again, I think what, when Holly did that there, she got a little steep from yep. that side. When you get a little bit steep, then you're going to, you know, take a divot and get deeper. That was much better there we right go. there. High, good, good trajectory right there. Okay, so now let's do something where we're going to get even a little more floppier. We're going to hit a little higher. So set up to it just like you did, Holly. So all I want Holly to think about here is exactly what we just did. She opened up. Yep. Club face is open from that standpoint. We're going to get wide. We're going to get wide in our swing, especially on our way down. We're going to allow it to shallow out. But this is going to feel a little weird to you. I don't want your handle on the way down to go past your left thigh. So your handle is going to stop and your club head is going to keep going. So you're going to get this position okay. right here. What that's going to do is it's going to help the club even create more speed and slide right underneath sure. it. So this handle never goes past this left you got thigh. It. This goes. You got it. Look how quicker she got out that ball up in the air, right? <laughs> I mean, that's if you really want to pop it up in the air, stop the handle, but you have to keep that speed going with that club head, right? Yeah, that's Just exactly like that. right. And if you see what Holly did there, stop right there. Look, she never closed the club face. She still held it open right here. She didn't flip it over when she let that happen. She held the club face open mm -hmm. from that position. Let that right bounce. There. Use that bounce. That's what yep. these are designed to do. Yep, for sure. And, you know, when you watched her do that, she kept, you kept rhythm going through and that's I didn't you, swing harder I didn't do anything harder than I would yeah normal normal right a lot of people when they hit the flop shot they get right here and they get really fast and they think oh my gosh I got to swing hard and create speed it's almost like you could use the little orange whip you know the smaller yeah. orange whip for practicing hitting the flop shot and this is off rhythm. of tight grass too yeah. I know that that's some people's biggest fear sure. mine included when especially when there's water or something in front of you with a really tight shot yep again let this do what it's intended to do that's exactly right so rhythm set up properly don't get steep we're not chopping Keep that nice, smooth, you know, width in your in your swing. And if you really want to flop it, let that club head pass on by. Easy peasy, just like she makes it look. All right, coming up next, you're actually going to get out of the frame. So Another yeah. teacher's going to come in. Director.